All right. Hey, all you YouTubers out there. Uh, I know I haven't posted in a while, huh? Because, like, I haven't had really anything to, like, to be able to make nothing. But check this out. So a while ago, for 40 cents, I got this fun fatty. Obviously, like, it's super old because, like, it's from Valentine's. But, like, check it out. So I got uh, two boxes of cake. Follow the directions on the back to bake it. And if you want, you can add like a half a cup of sour cream or a whole cup to keep it soft or softer. Um, or applesauce does the same thing too. Um, then bake it up. And, like, if they're uneven, that's okay. I baked two little 8 by 8s I think that's what these are. And they were cake. And then, like, I used a serrated so that I could um, uh, make them more level and even to each other. And then I put icing. And I have Bon Maman's cherry jelly. And... Where'd they go? Maraschino cherries, wherever they went. Ooh, yeah. I love Mazetta. They have, like, the best maraschino cherries, pickled jalapenos, banana peppers, etc. Then, I'm going to go... I right, so... These are, like, the trimmed down whatever do you, these uh, peas I, uh... Sprayed, um, what did I do? I sprayed the, um, uh, I have a video going. I sprayed, that's why I was trying to, like, shoo you. I'm um, sorry. Anyway, I'm at a friend's house, and, like, their mom don't know shit. So, anyway, um, what I'm doing, so I smashed them together. So, I sprayed my, um, pan with Baker's Dry. It's, like, flour and oil all in one. And still, I had, like, a little messed up piece that I just stuck with some icing real quick back on. And the outside layer, before you put this entire thing into the freezer, is called the crumb layer. So that it's just, like, a thin layer that you barely just slap on real quick just so that you don't get crumbs in your outer layer right there you go blah, blah, blah. and then I, I pasted everything together blah 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 then after the crumb layer is done and over with and everything's together and whatever you want you know and I of course I squeezed out the maraschino cherries as much as they could because you do not want the juice to ruin your cake, right? And then, what else? See there, these are the crumbs. There's all the crumbs. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. There was. There's the crumb layer. Okay, blah, blah, blah. It's just like a quick little thin, super thin, fucking be easy, peasy, bullshit layer. So that you don't get crumbs in the outside layer of your cake. Then take this. Pop it in the freezer for like 10 to 20 minutes. Then it'll harden all up the creme layer and make everything stick together, like solidify. Right? Then you're going to take it out and you're going to ice the outer layer. Now, since I did bake two of these cakes, a reminder, if you have a conventional oven that does not have like a fan to blow the air around 
like a convection oven. Um, to blow the air in. You want to only set your timer for the half of the time that it's going to take. And then rotate all your cakes. Spin them all around. Rotate them all throughout the oven. And wherever spots, whatever spots you want. I'm trimming off the top of this cake right now, right? And then um, rotate them all around and make sure that they all, um, what is it called? Get a different spot in the oven. Then, so what I'm doing right now, just trim it off, kind of make it a little evener on this side because the other side is a little slanty or like not as whatever. Okay, then I heated up the icing a little bit. I got three tubs of this icing. Right? And then you smash it on top a little bit just to stick them together. And don't worry about like whatever comes apart, etc. etc. Because it's all gonna taste the same anyway. And so put your um icing in the um what's it called? Microwave just for like 20 30 seconds maybe to get it soft to spread easier, I suppose. There, and see how it looks like shit, kind of, it kind of looks like shit. If you can't see it from there, there it looks like shit. And that's just to like stick everything together though. It doesn't matter because also, here's some drained and squeezed maraschino cherries. Here is some bon. Maman's cherry um, preserves on Maman's. I love on Maman's cherry preserves just to go in the middle there. Yep, 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 yep. There you go. And where's the um, they had them somewhere. Someone's tricking me. Um, oh, I left them in front of my face where I lose things the most. Mm. So then, I got to strain more cherries. Okay, that's the rest of my cherries. Josh. I'm going to strain these ones and squeeze out all of the juice. All of the juices so that it doesn't ruin my cake. Yeah, we squeezed out all the juices. Yeah, we squeezed out all the juices. And now I'm gonna put maraschino cherries. Maraschino cherries. In the middle. Maraschino cherries in the middle, everybody. Yeah. It's gonna be so good. Yeah. Sprinkle those sprinkles. Got the fun ready icing on that one because I did it on the other one too. Yeah, some of them ready. And maybe this one will have a little nuts in the middle. I'll put nuts in the middle of one. Like these are just Sunday nuts. They're already chopped up. They're already like um Yeah, they're chopped up and mixed up um mixed nuts, I think, for Sunday. So I think there's like walnuts and almonds and pecans or something in there. Okay, because one, I don't like nuts sometimes in certain things, so who knows if I want to eat like that or not. Right, so this cake is gonna have the nuts. 
this cake. And then, I'm going to trim this down a little bit. Just so that it's flat. There you go. Trim, trim, trim. Flat, flat, flat. Here's the extra cake. A good thing to do with your extra trimmed up cake is to mix it with like extra frosting or just a little bit until they are like do each to form together and make cake balls. But some people don't like cake balls, which you know, I don't care either way. So, do I want, yes. I want rounded corners on some and rounded corners on others and not yes and no. How about that? So the reason why you rotate your um, cakes in the oven halfway through the time is because it will get uneven coloring. It got a little burnt on this side. I'm not used to um, baking with the oven I was baking with. But it still turned out okay, and sometimes a little extra char, like, gives it extra good flavors. All right. So then, the crumb layer for this one. Just with an offset spatula is perfect, right? There you go. And... On the side, um, right there, right there, right. Oh, fuck. Don't be a fuck. Hmm. There you go. Hmm. Hmm. Crumb layer for that side. Good. I'm a darn, so whatever, I don't really care. Then, there we go. Crumb layers are all the sides. I'm making a mess, but I'll clean it up to the end, right? Always clean up your messes. There you go. And, what else needs a crumb lay aside? I think. Just this side over here. Looks like a little bit of. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Crumb layer. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, I almost dipped it in the churning yam. There's that. Uh huh. And mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. there, come there, done. See, cake is all crumb layered. It looks like shit. I don't give a fuck. That's how it's gonna be. And then you stick it in the freezer for ten or twenty minutes. Nice confections. Okay, so hey everybody, this has been in the freezer for however long, and it is solid. Like, this is not tacky anymore, whatever, it's still a little cold, etc. I am going to wipe this palette knife off because I do not want crumbs. Then, I am going to... So then, do -do 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 -ch. I heated this up in the microwave a little bit just so it's a little easier to spread. So this one, mm, spread on top. Mm. Maybe a little bit of crumbs are gonna end on the top of this, but it doesn't matter anyway, because I have confetti or funfetti or whatever you want to call it. I am. Dun, dun. Sorry, I made a mess. You can just uh, no, I think, step on that blanket. I don't care. I think. I'm, um, I think I'm, the map. And then mess. there we go. So video. There. Oh, yeah. Shit, yeah. Now you're in it. You were already.
So then I um, microwaved this one. I was trying to like subtly like tell you to fuck off, but <laughs> you're good. You walked right in the middle of my video like before, so it doesn't matter. They don't really watch like the whole video anyway, so they probably won't even see that. Ah, uh, right. So there we go. There's the beauty of the cake, and then I also do the sides. With my royal frosting. <laughs> then, right, do this side. Do this side. Then. There we go. And that's satisfactory, like, for me. Because who freaking cares? This is my cake. I'm not trying to sell it. Like, I am not doing anything with these cakes besides eating it for myself. So there you have it. What is it called? Uh, yeah. Vanilla cake. Pink icing. Unfetty. On the top. Isn't that fun? Like, check it out! Now you have cherry filled fun Betty beautiful double layered cake voila thanks everybody don't forget to like subscribe and turn on your little notification bell for my videos um go to my pamperedchef.com site super awesome sandra and what else do I need you to do? Do, 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 do? Oh, vote for me for president. We're going to run for president and see if it's like a scam or if I can actually become the president of the United States. Right? And one last thing, um, besides running for president, what was I doing? Oh, I'm going to be able to um, record live streams because I just signed up. They say it takes like 24 hours for it to set up my live streaming thingy on YouTube. So that's what we're going to do soon. It's just live stream. And then um, live stream. And that's it. Vote for me for president of the people, for the people, by the people, and funded by the people. Because I'm going to set up GoFundMe and all sorts of shit just so I can campaign to be president of the United States. Because fuck all these old fucks. I just like, what did I do? Turn 20, 35. So I'm now the legal age limit. I'm born of the United States. And... I want to see if I can become president of the United States. It's going to be sick. Right? Doing it up. Peace out, YouTubers.